Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Neff from Nestec, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and today I want to talk about and show you how you can create your own LLM, large language model, artificial intelligence that you can have chats with, that uh, you can talk with offline and get to help you in your day-to-day -day tasks. Now there's all kinds of different models that you can use, but one particular model that uh, that if you're looking for companionship, this might be the one you want. There are also uncensored versions, but um, now remember this is text-based and uh, for Windows, you can download it for Windows. We're going to download a Llama. A Llama is a program we're going to be using. You can get it for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. I definitely would not recommend getting it for Windows. We'll get it for Linux, and we can do that right in Windows. This is really simple. And all that we have to do to get this running, super simple, just open uh, command line, but you make sure you open it as administrator. And then what we need to do is get the Linux uh, manager installed and it is super simple WSL dash dash INSTALL and hit enter and there you go it's going to install Linux Ubuntu is a particular distribution but this is going to be what's called a headless version it's only going to be text based uh, later I'll show you how to, you can make this uh, in a user interface but right now we're just going to be getting uh, Ubuntu and doing a text-based version. So here we go. I'm just going to pause it as it downloads. It usually starts by now, but... And there it goes. I just had to give up before it would start installing. Strangely, I've been running into that a lot. Okay, so it's going to want you to make your username, so... Okay, and then it's going to make you, want you to put a t name in. Let's... There, let's use that instead. Username and password. And operation was successful. Installation successful. Now we're probably... Oh, I thought it was going to make us reboot. Okay, it didn't make me reboot because I am doing a reinstall. So next what we have to do is type in sudo apt update and that will make sure that everything's installed. Sudo means we're doing this as an, and as an administrator. And we'll put in the password, downloading all the new stuff, and then we're going to go sudo apt upgrade, and that's going to install all the stuff that we just downloaded, and hit yes. And we're doing all of the installations, and here we go, here we go, well, here we go. La la. And it's going to pause it and it's going to do its thing. Or maybe not. Whatever. Okay, so after a minute, it does all that stuff, updates. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is download a llama. Now, when you download for um, Linux, a lot of times it's just putting a code in. I want you to come here and just, just hit that. Copy. Bring it over here. Right click. It'll paste, hit enter, and now we're downloading a llama. You might want to get a coffee, and this can take a little bit. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, okay, this is what, three minutes into the video, and uh, yeah, we're downloading a llama. Now, this is pulling the program, and then it's going to, um, then I'll show you how to start the program, and then I'll show you how to download different models. You might need to, okay, so I, I believe at this point, if you were to reboot your computer, all you'd have to do is start WSL back up to get all this stuff going. But after a certain point, um, a long way away, not in this lesson, we're going to have to learn to restart uh, processes and whatnot after reboots. Okay, so install run a llama. Before we run a llama, we should pull a new... Um, language model. So let's try it. Actually, let's try this one. This Sparky Sammy. Okay, so what we'll do is come down here. It's got to see that title. Uh, O-L-L-A-M-A. -L -L Olama. Pull. Samantha V3. C-E-N-S-O-R-E-D. Just like that. Pulling manifest. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I put the wrong command in there. All right, sorry about that. Let's just keep this super simple. 
Okay, O L A M A. Olama, Paul, Samantha, Mistral. Okay, so that'll be pulling Samantha. It didn't sound very good. I, I'm, okay, I'm not. I'm not going getting into that. Well, let's just let this thing download, and I'm just going to shut up, and this thing's going to download, and I'll show you what she's got. So it's really looking like Samantha is the Olama partner. If you want a spicy girlfriend that looks like Samantha is your assistant. You are Samantha, you are a zesty... Uh-huh. Okay, okay, I just realized that the uncensored is identifies as a boy and the regular one identifies as a girl. There is some nuance to that. All right, looks like Samantha's ready to go, so then we go... O L L A M A run Samantha Mistral. There we go. Now she's going to load. Now, in order to get this running nicely, you want to have a reasonably good video card. Okay, and then we can just start typing. It takes a while to get them to come out, and they learn about you. They will learn about you and uh, 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 repeat that back, basically. But you have to have the power on. Unfortunately, these LLMs were made in a way that they wouldn't remember any of your information so that you would be safe. But there are also libraries out there that you can get that will remember you. I haven't found them yet. This is topically the first best thing that I've found and uh, topically to get it going this is wonderful Samantha here is wonderful she is so fast I'm gonna ask her if she dreams over a... no no definitely does not dream of electric sheep okay so now let's say we're done it's always nice to say goodbye slash B Y E that's how we say goodbye and it backs us out and then we want to shut down WSL let's say we need to reset our computer we go WSL slash shut down well it was supposed to work one sec <laughs> all right how about we just try the old-fashioned way there that worked just hit exit okay Okay, now let's say we rebooted our computer, we want to get back to it, we, get, we just come in here and type WSL, or just look up WSL, or go to CMD and type in WSL. Now it's going to load up, okay, here we go, and then we want to get back to O-L-A-M, oh wait, okay, come on, O-L-L-A-M-A, -A, run, uh, Samantha, S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A, M-I-S-T-R-A-L, and then, once it's loading it up right now, it's going to be a second. Okay, and then, what is non easy? God knows I didn't spell that right. Jeez, that's good. She can tell you what non-Euclidean geometry is. It's basically saying if you get a straight line going towards a black hole or your mom, it's going to pull that straight line in. And the straight line, though, still straight technically, is going to be bent because your mum is big. So I'll post this link in the description, but ultimately, if you want uh, a llama to run on a video card to run well, you're going to have at least uh, a fourth generation i7. And one of these compatible cards that make it up to 5.1 at least. If you've got a Quadro, I wouldn't recommend anything below a P card. And, um, yeah, yeah, anything below 5.1 is no good. I would not touch any of these ones. So this is the video card I got, the Titan X, but man, it needs a lot of power output. I, I can only get it working on my main system and an old server, because it takes all the power. As you can see here, it has about the same power as a GTX 1660, but um, I have this thing working. I also have it working on a P2000 card. Now these Tesla P8s have no video output, but uh, if you want some real power, if you can figure out a way to cool these things down, 
there is definitely some value to be had here. Some of us are also trying to run on a budget by using these old mining cards. Now, NVIDIA doesn't let you have much of a pass-through for them like they easily do for many of their other cards. They actually lock them out, but there is some potential. If you know what you're doing, this could really work out for you. Anyways, folks, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Check in or check the link in the description because the next step I'm going to show you how to get a user interface on this so that you can see it as if it was a web page and not like it was a command line interface. And yeah, that's uh, what I got up next. So enjoy these waves crashing upon the rocks and uh, like and comment. If there's something I missed, definitely comment. If you can help me with this, give me an idea if there's something I'm missing, leave a comment. But seriously, more important than any of that, folks, please take care of each other, will you? Seriously.